What's good guys, back with another beat tutorial video on how to use the regroove mixer. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I got a little loop here just with a piano melody and a snare and a kick. Um, I'll use uh, the regroove mixer here uh, on the kick just to show you kind of how it works and to liven up your drums a little more and add more groove to it. Um, so I'll let you hear this loop right quick. So you get the gist of that. <clears throat> um, so let's pull up the regroove mixer. And what I normally do is uh, I'll go down to one of these sections and just make sure to right click and initiate channel um, just so you have a clear section. Or like these over here, you can also add a preset if you wanted, but I normally don't just because I use a simple shuffle on some of these, so I don't really need to go into that. But you can just save your presets and just pull them up right away. That's pretty easy as well. Um, but uh, So anyways, just go to one of these slots, and like I said, initiate channel, um, go to the instrument that you want to add it to. So for instance, for this kick, I'm going to put it on that. And uh, well here I'll actually play the beat and add it so you can kind of hear. So this is without it. So go to slot groove on the instrument you want it on. So I want it on this kick. So I'm gonna click that. Go here, click the first slot. Cause I'm gonna add it to this. And start playing with it. The shuffle will add more groove to it. So I normally bring it up to like 57, 58. So you can hear it with it, and then I'll play it without it again. And here's the color. So you can see it hits just more straight on and loses some of the groove to it. So here it is with it again. You can just tell it adds more groove to it. And also if you wanted, um, you can play with the slide. What the slide does is either brings it before or after uh, the main hit. So I'll just play it and let you kind of hear. See if I started bringing it forward, it's bringing it before the beat. You see how the time is off? And then if I go the other way, it's going to be behind. Slow it's going. So yeah, that's 
that's just if you want more leg, it'll be closer up on the beat. Uh, so I just usually leave that alone for now and just mess with the shuffle and add a little more groove. Um, and just always keep the thumb on the groove at 100% and I release, but you can play with that as well. And pre-align, if you want it, it uh, everything to hit right at the same beat, but also at the groove. Um, so yeah, you don't really have to mess with that in this case. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much about it. You can, obviously you see all these other slots in channels. So like if I wanted to add a little more groove on the snare, I could go here, just add it to the next channel and play again with the shuffle. Um, but uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the regroove mixer. Um, just like I said, more or less, if you just wanna add uh, more groove to any instrument, it helps a lot with that. And uh, also if you want more groove as well, just go into the patterns and play with the velocity too of, of the notes. Um, it'll help add a little more groove as well. Uh, so thanks guys, um, that's about it. If uh, you like what you heard, make sure to subscribe. Um, I try to upload each week uh, with new tutorials and tight beat videos. So uh, check back for that and make sure to subscribe. I'll be dropping uh, another tight beat video um, probably later this week or the beginning of next week. So make sure to check back. Thanks, guys. Peace.